Hey, it's Kuruli978 again. Um, this is another... Sorry, yeah, I thought I had a Alright, and this is uh, another continual video of uh, how to modify your Nerf Firefly. Now, okay, over here, let me see if I can move the camera a bit. <sighs> okay, one sec. Now, over here, you have the, in the air restrictor. Well, not air restrictor, but rather, you have the basic internals of the Firefly. Now, alright, uh, mind you, mind the little... Oh crap, oh crap. <laughs> okay, sorry. Drop the camera for a sec. Uh, is it still rolling? Yeah, alright. So basically, you have the Firefly internals. Over here, we have the chamber and this overall rotation system. Now, all right, so basically I'm going to be talking to you today about how to do the spring part. Spring part is this big chamber here. Now, in order to remove it, there's these two screws here, here and here, if you can see them. can't really tell on this camera. So basically what you want to do is unscrew those, and then this part, you basically just turn it a little bit this way move it like that and then basically you're gonna just pull the spring underneath this piece of plastic which is melted so that the spring doesn't fall out apparently or something so you basically just pull it underneath in and out then you all just have the chamber visible now basically I have a second chamber over here this is from uh, my first try at the Firefly and well I had difficulty this chamber still works anyway so Basically, you just, um, you have this, which basically is what the chamber looks like. And there's obviously the plunger. The plunger, you're going to have, you're going to have like this, you're going to have a spring on it. This is the original spring that's with it, okay? So, basically, you're going to have that spring on there. You can add extra springs to it, or whatever. Although, mind you, there's a limit to the diameter. Let me, let me grab the, let me grab the ruler for you the camera so basically let me show you the limit so it's like according to the ruler you have a limit in terms of the circ the uh, spring diameter about wow it's funny it's actually almost an inch like I said in the last video so it looks like you have about a limit of about I'd say about three quarters of an inch is the, the limit of your spring that you can put in there you can go a little bit past that, but that's roughly what you have as a limit for the diameter of the spring if you add another one. Now, alright, let me show you the... Now, basically, this is the chamber I modified in the last video for the air restrictors and everything. I, used to, I actually used a drill press to wrap up the rest of it because I didn't want to use a screwdriver. The screwdriver was having difficulties. Because you can use the screwdriver as an option to get the air restrictors out, as I suggested, but... In truth, the best way, at least in my opinion, is to just use the, um, just use the, uh, you know, use the, uh, drill press or whatever is available to you. I know that not all of you probably would have a drill press. My dad has one because, I don't know, work and everything. And, um, so, anyways, um, so to get out the, um, let me show you, let me grab the gun. So basically you have the internals here. Now, the first thing though is, in order to get the chamber out to do all that work, you actually have to move some things around. You have the, you know, once I that thing moved. So, basically, you have this here, which this is the, where the actual flashing happens, right here. And you have two screws on, you have one screw on either side, you unscrew those, just move that ever so slightly, and then after you do that, you first have to remove the chamber, you know, the big spring chamber. Unscrew all that, and then you're going to unscrew this thing here, which is the trigger pull. Can you, hold on, move the thing. you have to, see where my finger is? You have to unscrew uh, that one, that screw over there and that screw over here, and then unscrew the two underscrews that attach the chamber. So basically, you're going to have, this is what the piece is going to look like, right here. You're gonna, this is what goes on the back of the chamber rotation. And also, if you take off this part, 
you're going to have these two pieces. You can see that. You're going to have a little miniature spring, and you're going to have a little small lighting kind of kills it, but you're going to have this little tooth rotation looking thing. And you'll want to get hold on to that, okay? Because you want to, that is very important for the rotation. It goes on this thing here. It goes right here on the back. And then this goes on top of it. And also make sure that there's these two little uh, tab things that stick out from that tooth thing. And it goes into these two small spacers on either side. So that one, so it pretty much bounces up and down. But you want to have those two things go into the axis. And you pretty much put the put that in, and then put the screw in. Hold on, it's like where I put the screw. You're gonna have a little silver screw right like this, and it goes in here, in here. Can you see that? Right. Oh, let me see. The lighting's a little bit killer. So you're gonna have a screw that goes right in, in the middle of there. So sorry, I just dropped all my stuff. So you're gonna have a screw that goes in there. And anyways, um, let me get that piece. Which way did it go? It went. Alright, it went that way. So basically, you're gonna have you have the two pieces and stuff. Drop the screw in, and then screw that all back together. Now, let me see if I can change the angle so you can see stuff better. So basically, you're going to have this, this is the internals again. Now I'm going to unscrew it and show you how to put it back together, because I actually uh, had to look up uh, the internals online in order to find it. And um, in order to do that, that was, let me tell you, it was a little annoying, because I, I didn't know where some of the pieces went for a sec, and I was like, oh crap, so I... <laughs> I had a look on the internet and stuff. I tried SG Nerf and I couldn't really find one for some reason. I was kind of surprised because SG Nerf usually has video, uh, has at least pictures and stuff of internals for reference sake. But they apparently didn't have one of the Firefly. So you take it apart like that, and you're gonna let's see. And you're gonna take off the now. Mind you also is um, the chambers and stuff, You when you take it apart there's also two very small screws and stuff that also bolt in the, the um, I call them the shark tooth rotation pieces which is what's used in a revolver or one that uses chambers like this. So you're going to unscrew those. Okay I just dropped a screw, what the hell. <laughs> and then you're going to get that out. and. Again, as I mentioned, you have to remove the chamber. I hate doing that, but that's pro probably one thing to keep in mind is the fact that the Firefly has a lot of pieces. It's actually not that complicated. It's just keeping a track of all the pieces and where they go. So we're gonna take out the air, the restrictor, or you know, the chamber, and we're gonna have it come out like that. And basically, we're gonna have it look like this. Now make sure to keep a track of this. It's a blue piece that holds back the um, when you pump it and stuff. When you pull back the thing on the back and everything and it cocks it. There's this little spring catch which basically holds it back. Now make sure you keep the spring and keep a track of it because trust me one thing I always hate about these Nerf guns is the fact that the spring will always shoot out and stuff when you open it. So. Be very careful, it's a black spring, so it makes it even harder if you have like a dark carpet or something. And anyways, so basically you unscrew that. Pop the oh, where's that other screw? So you're gonna have these two screws. Down that. How do I get it? Let me get it. Um, okay, there you go. So you're gonna have these two little can't really see it all too well when I move my hand. You're gonna have these two little screws, let me show you a little better. You're gonna have these two little screws, okay, that basically bolt in your uh, rotation chamber. They're, the, they're what holds it in. Now, let me get the screwdriver again, because there's also also another one is that um, underneath the chamber, once you remove the uh, chamber that has the springs in there, there's another screw that bolts in the um, thing, bolts in the uh, chamber rotation. 
So you're gonna have oh, let me get it out. So you're gonna have it look hold on. Oh you gotta keep me, I just remembered. Uh hold on. I'm gonna have these two things. And basically now you see these little this thing here? This thing right here in my hand? This is the two part this is the little piece that also bolts it in. Those that's where the two screws I just mentioned comes from. And also right on this part here is another screw that's underneath the chamber that's not normally visible, at least not completely. And then there's also a fourth screw which bolts in to the trigger. So hold on a sec, we gotta get through this wiring to get that screw I dropped. Gosh, yeah. The problem with the, the problem with the firefly is that it's got a lot of depth in the imprints and stuff because of all the you know really fancy look it has outside. So the screw gets stuck in that. Now, let's see, I'm just going to grab this second chamber and put that in. Let me just fix the screw that's in the middle. Alright, crap, I'm really running out of time. I only have 11, minute, uh, I'm 11 minutes in, and I forget how long the videos are supposed to be. I hope I'm not breaking this, jeez. This, uh, this airtight? So, yeah, you know, you have the limit of, um... You have the limit of uh, how long the video can be. So, you have. So then you just put that in here. Hmm. Right. Now, I actually did mention you have to remove the flash thing, and evidently, actually, you don't. You don't have to remove the flash, just make sure you remove the screws and bolts and stuff of the other stuff I mentioned. Alright, so we put that in, and you're gonna have. It's gonna look like that. Now, basically, um, you want to make sure that this piece, that, see this old screw right here that goes on this old extension spring? That lines up with this one. It goes into this old trigger hole. And this one right here, this old hole, that hooks up there. That That's the part of the trigger thing that I mentioned that hooks up to here. You put that in, you put that, put another screw in here, and then you have those too many screws I mentioned earlier on there. And then you just put the chamber back in, screw it in, and then it'll be done. I'm going to make a, I'm going to split this into a second video because I'm running out of time. There's a time limit, so I'll have one more wrap-up video on how to modify it, okay? Be right back. <laughs> There'll be a second video. Check out my channel, subscribe, um, and check out the second video. It's technically the third one, but it's a second for... I'm um, doing the spring mod and knowing the internals, okay?